Yo guys, what up? It is Nick, and we are back on The Witcher 3. Let's, let's head back and prepare to leave White Archer with Vesemir. Everything going well so far. How much money are we sitting on? $499. Not bad. Not half bad at all. Should be able to pick up Swallow soon. I think I can buy it from uh, Kira when we get there. I think she'll have the supplies I need. Um, also looking, I need to find some drowners. I need a drowner brain. That's something I can't buy. <laughs> Alright. Let's head up here. If I see... Huh, maybe I should just travel by the water. Take it easy. And we'll see. See if I can run into any drowners. Because I do need a brain. I do need a drowner brain. By the water here. What is? Hop off a head, off a, off a roach. Check this out. The Mary and Lily. Go down, Geralt. What? The, there it is. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was pretty good stuff. Um, I think I've almost made the executive decision with myself uh, that this is just going to be on. beat the story because um, I don't want to get stuck on side quests like I already have. So I think I just overruled myself and we're going to be rocking. Where is it taking me? But Faster. I think it would be more beneficial to me beating the game on Death March to just beat the game on Death March. Not worry about having to beat all the side quests and all that different stuff. So let's head this way. Um, it's not going to be a speed run. I'll probably do a few side I'll do all the the, the girls' uh, little side quests. And there's some stuff that we'll do with it necessarily don't have to, but we will. Okay, hop off a roach. What's going on in here? I want to see, she's got, I can't talk to her. Let's see, is it the, oh, is it the glitch where I gotta rest? This is annoying. This is some annoying shit. This is what I have to do. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Something else you'll be needing. Yeah. Got any you Alright, so just a bunch of food. Take that. Uh, pure silver. You can take that. Noon Ray Trophy. Farewell. All right. Let me check. Let's see here. Okay, so that gives plus five bonus experience. This gives ten percent chance to dismember. I'm gonna do this. Put the Noon Ray Trophy on. All right, let's go over here and talk to Vesemir. Wolf. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. See here. Time, Time we go. are on our way. Mm-hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. 
I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister go. attending to the no. birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Oh, I'm so scared of you guys. Still. Go time. Away. Your arses. Take my shots when I can get them. Egg. Oh, baby, what, baby? Come on, boy. Put down your block. Do this all day. You know, after going back to the 360. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. That brawl, we didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y yen How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Oh, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. As far as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. 
Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls, as soon as possible. Recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <sighs> We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to His Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. 
Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine, do your thing. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arya. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in Charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes, and... A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there, and once again meddled in the affairs of the Mighty. The Mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, 
the gentleman will choose from these garments. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Alright, let's get dressed. Just take all of them. Just as you can, and then you can sell them. So, let's go ahead and equip these. Guess I'll just equip that. That will rock with this one. Alrighty. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South, I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. <laughs> hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. All right, let's go talk to the Emperor. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and you see the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Grimi et art kerzer. Daifen aden in karn eb marvut. Emir var emreis. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. A valiant nomen, vat gern favort. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks? Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Surila, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. 
This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. Alright, let's go talk to Yennefer. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax, nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. I do not breaches of etiquette for one day. Mean to me, Calm yourself. What? No. The Emperor was actually pretty cool about me not bowing to him, so... I think you'll be fine, Chamberlain. You'll be all fine. No, word. no need to worry. Dude, I wish I could get this armor. It, just, it looks sick. And obviously it would be highly defensive. I wonder if you can. I wonder if there's a point... Where you can acquire the armor. Probably not. But I could be wrong. Oh, you can't use anything here. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me at Quill Sharpen yet. Yes? Alright, where is she? I forget. Oh, Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the Wild Hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but... I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, 
As soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. I kind of wish I could just teleport myself. It'd be, be easy for some of this stuff. Now I need to get my equipment back from the Chamberlain. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mentioned something of the sort. So long. Alright, time to travel to Valen. Let me put my equipment back on. Okay. Crossbow. There we go. Yeah, is that everything I need? Yeah, that's everything I need. Alright. Time to head to Velen. Uh, let's see. You can go to Novigrad right now? Huh, I did not know that. You can also go to Skellige right now. I did not know you could do this. Not that I want to go to either of those right now. Wait, hold on. Novigrad is in Velen, isn't it? Like... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop digging around. <laughs> hold on, let me look at this. Yeah, alright, alright. Time to go to Velen. Let me stop messing around. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Alright, so, just going to be doing the story in order, you know, um, I actually, when I was at my all-nighter, I actually beat, uh, all the way past, um, that, uh, Wild Hunt boss, um, with Kira, uh, that was about the end of where I got to, just, I just wanted to see if I'd be able to do it, which I can, so, um, I think I'm good to go. I think I, I got this. I got this not locked down. I think I should be able to knock this out. Uh, you know, th 40 episodes probably. 40 half-hour episodes. It's like 10. It's like 20 hours of gameplay. But I mean, that's probably what's gonna end up being. Um, there obviously be hour-long episodes here and there, just simply because it's more convenient to have some of them be hour-long, especially near the end of the game. Uh, much easier to just shoot for an hour long or 40 minutes, you know. The fact it's going to take me 20 hours just doing the story is crazy. Like, that that, that proves how good this game is. The replay value's there. Um, just very enjoyable. Except loading screens, they're not very enjoyable.
All right. So now we need to go, go to the go. inn at the crossroads. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.